So I want to factor the sum of two squares, and without complex numbers I couldn't do that. You may recall that I could factor the difference of two squares as follows. Using the difference of square formula, I note that 4x squared is the quantity 2x, all squared, minus 9 squared, and the formula tells me that's equal to 2x plus 9 times 2x minus 9. The sum of squares can be done in a similar way if I use complex numbers. So this is equal to 2x quantity squared plus 9 quantity squared, which is also equal to the same thing except 9i, or subtracting 9i squared. The reason it's the same is when I square the i part, that's going to become negative, and that negative will balance with this negative and make it a plus. So actually, I can use essentially my own pattern. I just have now an imaginary part. Following that same pattern, it can be factored as such. And let's just do a quick check to show that it works. Using the FOIL method, 2x times 2x is 4x squared. My middle terms are actually going to end up canceling. And my last term is going to be 9i times negative 9i, which is minus 81i squared. Like I said, these two terms, the middle two terms here, are going to cancel each other out. And because the 81 is multiplied by a negative 1, we do get the positive 81, as in the very first step. This is equivalent to this, so it does check out.